Detroit FBI is bringing down a violent motorcycle club, and it ends with six of its members found guilty. Only on 7 tonight, a former FBI supervisor who ran the case is telling the inside story of this. Simon Chiquette spoke with him and joined us live from Birmingham tonight. Simon? Yeah, the FBI has worked this case for many, many years, and today comes a major victory in federal court. The infamous motorcycle club Devil's Disciples, led by National President Jeff Fat Dog Smith of Mount Clemens, is the latest criminal organization brought down by the Detroit FBI. Six members found guilty of various federal charges today after a trial lasting several months. They are a dangerous group. For years, former FBI agent Andy Bartnowak ran the case for the FBI's Detroit field office. Tasked with dismantling criminal enterprises, he says the Devil's Disciples were as ruthless as any violent gang. They use their organization, their structure to go ahead and intimidate witnesses. Um, so, so they are a dangerous uh, uh, organization. Among those in court today, the national president found guilty of RICO conspiracy, illegal gambling, and witness tampering. Vice President Paul Pauli Dara of Macomb Township also guilty on all the same charges. Other guilty defendants included Kerry Gun Control Van Diver of Alabama and Patrick Magoo McKeon, also of Alabama. Their organization is, 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 is based similar to what you would see in a corporation. They have a president, they have a vice president, they have executive committee members, um, and so they're well-structured and organized. Feds say selling stolen bikes, gambling, violence, and drug trafficking, all a way of life that lasted for years. Now the community is safer, not just in Clinton Township where the club is based, but across the country where other members lived. There's uh, plenty of legitimate motorcycle clubs out there, and uh, obviously the biggest difference is they don't engage in, in criminal acts. Now the next step in this case is the sentencing. That is expected to take place in about four months. Live in Birmingham, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.